Imagine this. A deep space telescope captures something unexpected, something that doesn't just defy our physics, but our very understanding of the universe. Then, without warning, the live feed goes black. The footage disappears. Scientists go silent. And days later, an object is spotted hovering above Earth's magnetic equator. Still watching, calculating. Its name, Neo Umuamua. Its message still unclear. But one thing is certain. This is no comet. And according to data leaked from within NASA and confirmed by multiple independent observatories, this object may be part of a larger system already surrounding us. The James Webb Space Telescope's final transmission before the blackout didn't offer comfort. It offered a warning. And what it revealed confirms our deepest cosmic fear. We were never alone. And now we've been seen. It began innocently. A routine sky survey over the Pacific by the James Webb Space Telescope. Then something emerged from the darkness. At first glance, it resembled the original Oumuamua that passed through the solar system in 2017. Oddly shaped, fast and tumbling. But this time it wasn't just passing. It approached, slowed down, changed direction, and then it stopped. NASA's live stream abruptly cut out. Within minutes, the raw footage was pulled. The object was renamed Neo Oumuamua and marked as classified trajectory. But here's the part no one was supposed to see. Just before the blackout, JWST recorded a structured burst of prime number pulses aimed directly at Earth's magnetosphere. The universal language of intelligent life, as Carl Sagan predicted, it wasn't a transmission, it was a targeting signal. And the scariest part, we didn't send anything. This object didn't respond to us. It anticipated us. After the blackout, private observatories across South Africa and Chile reported erratic readings. Neo Umwamua had changed velocity mid-flight without propulsion. It then stabilized in geosynchronous orbit, parked directly above the Earth's magnetic equator at an altitude where no natural object should exist. Atmospheric sensors in Brazil and Ghana detected periodic vertical pressure anomalies as if something were breaching the atmosphere and returning. But no visual data exists. Every telescope trained on the coordinates suffered positional drift or inexplicable lens degradation. And it gets worse. Thermal imaging picked up localized temperature regulation, suggesting active shielding. According to leaked internal memos, NASA classified these readings as non-ballistic motion, the exact term used for controlled flight, which means the object isn't just here. It's watching, it's adapting. And it's been doing so without saying a word. On April 7th, CERN's magnetometer array tuned to calibrate the LHC's superconducting magnets, recorded a global magnetic ripple, not regional, not solar-induced, global. The pulse lasted 0.72 seconds and contained embedded harmonic structures that didn't match any known terrestrial origin. But the most terrifying detail came hours later, when NASA's Deep Space Network received a signal from Voyager 1, time-stamped to match Earth's pulse to the millisecond. Except this was impossible. Voyager 1 doesn't have the hardware to detect or transmit such data. The signal contained encoded wavelets, nested prime intervals, and quantum-corrected frame matrices far beyond anything Voyager was built to send. The conclusion, Voyager didn't create the signal. It was used. Someone or something activated it, and that activation coincided perfectly with Neo Oumuamua's prime number burst, as if a hidden system across our solar system had just woken up. Astrophysicist Brian Cox publicly broke ranks with cautious academia, suggesting that Neo Oumuamua might not be a probe, but a node, a silent surveillance system, a dormant network left to monitor civilizations like ours as we cross key technological thresholds. Think about it. No contact, no invasion, just observation and perhaps evaluation. This theory, now circulating in closed scientific panels, aligns with the great filter hypothesis that advanced civilizations don't reveal themselves because they've built systems to decide who's worthy of knowing. And now with the pulse detected by CERN and Voyager's impossible response, many believe we triggered the next phase. A test, a warning, a verdict. No one knows. But one thing is clear. We didn't find them. They found us a long time ago. And now that we've noticed them, the rules may be about to change. While the public waits for answers, something is breaking behind closed doors. Leaked documents from NASA and the European Space Agency reveal a deep fracture. Not about what Neo Oumuamua is, but about how long they've known. 
internal emails show that orbital anomalies near Saturn were detected six months before the object was officially observed, but were classified as non-priority disturbances. An incident report labelled Echo 9 details that the James Webb Space Telescope had already logged distant irregular heat signatures approaching from the direction of the Oort cloud, yet no alert was issued. The reason, risk of panic. One senior ESA advisor reportedly wrote, the public cannot process what we're seeing, and so the data was buried, buried until the object arrived above our heads. But now that it has stopped, hovered, pulsed, that silence has become impossible to contain. For the first three days of its hovering above Earth's magnetic equator, Neo Umwamua remained motionless, locked into a fixed orbital position. But then, without any known force acting upon it, the object shifted by exactly 0.5 degrams of longitude. It was subtle, precise, controlled. Atmospheric satellites recorded a coinciding fluctuation in low-frequency radio waves, not interference structure. A wave packet pattern repeating every 13 seconds, echoing the same prime-based cadence first observed by JWST. But that's not all. High-resolution ionospheric mapping revealed that the object's new position overlaps directly with one of Earth's strongest magnetic Sioux. Convergence zones, a region, scientists now suspect may act as a natural amplifier or antenna. In other words, Nia Umwama isn't just watching. It may be interacting with Earth's electromagnetic infrastructure and perhaps preparing it for something. In a recently declassified think tank paper, authored by a coalition of astrophysicists and theoretical physicists, a radical new idea is proposed, dubbed the Veil Hypothesis. The theory suggests that advanced civilizations might deploy passive surveillance objects not to observe life directly, but to monitor when planetary systems begin to breach a higher layer of spatial awareness, an invisible boundary beyond which reality behaves differently. According to this theory, Neo Umuamua isn't an explorer. It's a marker, an interstellar buoy placed in orbit to confirm that humanity has passed a technological threshold, perhaps quantum communication, perhaps gravitational manipulation, perhaps something we don't yet understand. The presence of synchronized pulses, electromagnetic anomalies and altered gravitational measurements all point to a chilling possibility. We have crossed the veil, and now the universe is watching what we do next. The most disturbing conclusion, however, comes not from scientists, but from engineers. A group of signal analysts studying Voyager 1 and 2 believe that Neo Umwamua may be part of a larger system we've never detected because we're inside of it. Their model proposes a mesh, a massive multidimensional lattice of listening nodes that wrap around planetary systems like a soft shell. We never noticed it because we weren't loud enough, but now with our quantum experiments, space-based AI and gravity wave emissions, we've finally made enough noise to activate the net. According to their projections, what's hovering above us isn't a probe, it's a mirror, a perfectly silent device designed to reflect back exactly what we are. And what happens after that reflection completes remains terrifyingly unknown. For centuries, we believed we were the explorers. We built telescopes, launched spacecraft, mapped galaxies, all with the quiet hope that we might one day find something out there. But now, as Neo Umwamua hovers silently above our world, not moving, not speaking, not attacking, we are forced to confront a darker, far more humbling truth. We were never the observers. We were always the observed. The James Webb Space Telescope didn't just catch an object drifting through space. It caught a presence, a system, a moment in which the universe itself seemed to pause, as if something ancient, something far beyond comprehension, had finally turned its gaze toward us. And in that gaze we didn't find welcome. We didn't find answers. We found a warning. Because Neo Umamua didn't come here by accident, it didn't arrive with curiosity. It arrived with purpose. It has not spoken because it doesn't need to. It already knows who we are, our fears, our chaos, our noise. It came not to begin contact, but to decide if contact should ever happen. And now the question that haunts every scientist, every government official, and maybe deep down every one of us is this. What if the silence isn't waiting for us to speak? What if the silence is our judgment? What do you think Neo Umamua really is? A probe, a mirror, a test? The scariest discoveries are not the ones we make out there, but the ones that reveal what's already watching us here.